Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of May. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, and this could happen at any time in May. So, give me one card for Leo, please. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, one card. One card. Nine, nine, nine. Nine is a uh, time for closure. When you get nine, it's a sign to move on from something. Ten is the next number, which is completion. So uh, I feel as though you've reached the end of something and you've been reluctant and now it's time. I mean, nines is about closure. So it is a time of closure, closing something up, closing up a chapter or a phase. It's not quite over yet, but you are almost there. You're almost at the end. It's a sign to move on when you see 999. A chapter is coming to an end. The star. Now, the star is um, a card of a wish being granted. It's help arriving after the tower has fallen. So you may be experiencing a tower moment or you have experienced one recently. This is help arriving. This is your fairy godmother uh, coming to your aid. Unexpected help, guaranteed success, a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So yes, we do have closure, but it is a blessing in disguise. Um, obviously something has happened. You see all the rubble. You see it looks as though there's a lot of people crying in the background. It's a disaster. There's been some sort of disaster or, um, well, it looks like there's been some sort of emergency or something like that. Um, but you are saved. You are protected. Help is arriving. Okay. Somebody is coming to help you out of a situation. I mean, it is. Hold on. I don't know why this camera won't zoom. Anyhow, um, there's some sort of protection here for you. You are protected. <laughs> what I wanted to say is you're chosen. You're chosen. You're going to survive. Whatever this is, you're a survivor. There's some sort of uh, a badge. That's the star, but it does remind me of a badge. You could be dealing with somebody that is wearing a badge that is coming to save you or coming to your aid. Somebody is coming to your aid. One card for Leo, please. We have a blessing here. You're gonna you're you're gonna emerge a whole different person. I feel like you are going to be a whole different person. You've been through some sort of disastrous situation by the looks of things. There's divine guidance here. You have some sort of divine guidance, protection. Self-love. Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. <coughs> I was trying to hold that in. You know, it's interesting. It's about the actions that you take to support your mind, body, and soul. I kept on looking at this water bottle, and I wasn't sure how to fit it in. 
So there's something about water here. You need to really nurture your body and drink water. Water is is very, very um, necessary. It's necessary for to remove the toxins from your body, to make you healthy. It's good for your brain. Uh, water is essential. It is essential. So you really need to pack the water in. Also, uh, this card is ruled by Aquarius, which is the water bearer. So there is something to do with water here. There's something to do with water. You need to, you need to increase your water intake. Okay, so that's just a, that's a whole different message. Water is a necessity. It is definitely a necessity. There could also be an Aquarius or a water sign that is coming to help you. That is coming to your aid. Um, I do think you're going to be focusing on yourself. You're going to be nurturing yourself after you've been through some sort of event that is life-changing. I feel like you're going to be going through a period of healing. There's, going to, there's protection here. You're protected, but this is definitely a time of healing as you are closing a chapter in your life. Nines are about closure and moving on from some sort of situation that has left you in desperation by the looks of things. This is a desperate situation. It reminds me of the Twin Towers. That's what that looks like to me. It looks like there's been some sort of collapse of, you know, a building and there's rubble and, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, not everybody has survived, but I think that you're a survivor here and I think you're going to survive. I think that help is arriving in the nick of time to get you out of this situation. Your air, Your prayers have been answered. Okay, so there's some sort of prayers that have been answered, but you are going to have to work on self-love. It's part of healing. and it, This is a healing period. You're going to be going through a period of healing. Okay, this month is a period of healing. Um, appreciating yourself. And I think it's because of whatever you've been through. This is obviously a pivotal moment that is life-changing. It is. And I think that this life-changing moment has made you realize maybe your value, maybe your beauty, maybe your worth, who you are and who you aren't. I think that you're going through a major life change right now. And I think that's because the tower has happened, obviously. There's been a tower moment where something has fallen apart and, you know, you may have felt like dead inside or like you were going to die, but you're not going to die. You know, this is this is it. You, you, you're, this is you emerging from this uh, disastrous situation and becoming a completely different person. And that's what I see. Beautiful. It's a very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Ten of Pentacles, abundance, comfort, home, financial success, family support, starting a business, starting a family, getting an inheritance, maybe even uh, committing to somebody, somebody committing to you. King of Wands, Nine of Cups reversed. Three of Pentacles, Chariot reversed, Five of Wands, Page of Cups, and Emperor, High Priestess on the bottom, so highly intuitive at this time, going through some sort of spiritual awakening, connected to the Divine, really highly intuitive at this time vibrating at a very high level something has happened that has changed your vibration i believe that you are uh, in control you're in a position of power i feel like you're taking charge of your life you got this newfound confidence this newfound desire this newfound vision of who you are i feel like you're you really are in a different place i feel like your confidence is going to be soaring at this time and I think it's soaring because you it's like when you experience this moment of, of distress whatever it was it's a wake-up call right it's it's an awakening it's it's a life-changing moment that's what the tower is and I think that you've experienced something that has given you a new vision on life on who you are 
um, I feel a lot of self-love and, and a newfound confidence within yourself. I think that you are uh, receiving something. You're going to be receiving an offer or help from somebody. Whatever this offer is or this help is that you are receiving leads to something solid, something permanent. Uh, you may even be receiving a position, okay, from somebody, a leadership position. You may be put in a leadership position. Um, I feel like you are going to be working with a new people, working with a new team, perhaps. Um, I think there's been some sort of delay, and you are probably, it, it may even be, you know, you may have wanted to, uh, it's not it's not exactly what you asked for but it is which is interesting it's like this is what you asked for but it's not the way that you envisioned it you may have envisioned you may have tried to manifest something in a whole different vision you're going to get what you asked for but it's not the way that you envisioned it um and I think that's going to be bring conflict. I think you're going to feel conflicted. You're going to go back and forth. You're going to be experienced as getting what you want, but it's not the way that you expected is what I'm trying to say. I feel like um, you're going to have scattered emotions over whatever this is, whatever this offer is that you're getting, because it's it's not what you envisioned. It's not what you envisioned. But I do believe that um, there is somebody that is that is coming in to help you, and I don't know if, if this could be somebody. And I have, and I don't, I don't. A lot of people don't probably believe this, but I feel like there's there's some sort of guidance from above, whether it's a, somebody that has passed away, or a spirit guide, or an angel. Maybe it's a father figure or a grandfather figure. It could even be a mother or a grandmother. But it's somebody that uh, was very prominent in your life that is assisting you at this time. This person is watching you from above. They're guiding you. They're protecting you. And I believe that they are going to be giving you what you asked for. Some of you have been asking to be saved or to be freed from a situation. The answer is yes. Yes, you're going to be freed from whatever this is. Um, but I, I think that the struggle is going to be hard for you because it's not exactly what you asked for. It is, but not in your form, not in your vision, okay? I feel like you're going to be uh, embarking on a new adventure. This is a whole new you. It is a whole new you. I think that you're going to be put in a position of authority. You're going to be highly respected. You're going to be gaining respect from people, you know, appreciated, uh, People are going to start to appreciate you more or see you in a different light. Um, I also, for some of you, well, I don't know. Everybody, whoever's watching this is going to be receiving some sort of help. And this help is unexpected. It's what you asked for, but not the way that you envisioned it. Anyhow, um, the chariot reversed is some sort of delay. It's emotions all over the place. Next to that, or well, off to the side is the five of wands, which is conflicted. I think that you're gonna you're gonna struggle. You're gonna struggle with whatever this is, and maybe it's because it's it's hard to be that different person that you used to be you are going through a significant change you are and i think it's because you've been through a situation that was a disaster and and letting go of that old uh you you know i think that's what you want to do but it's not easy to do i mean that chariot reversed is it's hard to master emotions it's hard to have discipline there's lack of control for some of you you need to take back control you need to find your discipline you need to find your strength and your determination to control yourself some of you haven't been very healthy and maybe that's why this self-love card is up here you haven't been drinking enough you haven't been eating well you haven't been taking care of your health now is a time where you take charge and you get organized and you focus and you plan and you get healthy, okay? I see you investing in yourself this month. There's been procrastination. There's been laziness, per se, waiting for somebody to come help you. Yes, yeah, somebody's coming to help you, but you got to help yourself. Nope, they ain't going to do all the work. You know, you have to help yourself. So anyhow, I feel like you're going to be put in a position where you have to work. You do. You have to work. You may have to learn some new skills. And, you know, once you get into it, you'll be like, oh, my God, this is not what I asked for. But it is. 
It is what you asked for. It is what you're going to have to put in effort as well. So that's part of this message. It's like you're going to be put in a position. It's like somebody offers you to do something. Maybe for some of you, it could be going to the gym, you know, or that simple. It could be that simple. It could be a job offer. It's something that, you know, you want. You want this, this opportunity, right? You don't want to die in this situation. This is what you asked for. They bring it to you. And it requires you to do something that you didn't really ask for, but to get the results, you have to do it. So that's what I'm talking about. And I think it's going to be a struggle. I think it's going to be a struggle because I think that you're used to making all of the decisions and doing things your way. And I feel like that hasn't worked. And that's what's gotten you into the predicament in the first place that you're in now. You have to be willing to learn new things. You have to be teachable. And I feel like that's, that's, that the struggle is, is real. I think that it is. So anyhow, I do believe that this is a month of um, getting organized, getting things in order, order, taking charge of your life, uh, embarking on a new adventure perhaps, uh, taking action right now, getting a new vision and going for it, um, learning new things. I think you're going to be working with some people. They're going to be teaching you some things and I think that's the biggest problem, honestly. I feel like, and I'm just being honest with you, I feel like it's going to be hard to, uh, you may butt heads. You definitely, with this five of wands and the nine of cups reverse, and, and stall and procrastinate and oppose, you know, there's opposition here. You may oppose because it's not exactly your way. You're, you're going to have to be open to possibilities is what I'm saying, to working together as a team and learning new things. So that's going to be a big part of this month. Um, for some of you, there's a father figure here. I think I already said that, but I see it very strongly that is protecting you. You may be receiving something from a father figure. Maybe it's inheritance or money or guidance or something like that. It's somebody that uh, is protecting you from something. There is also something that is coming to a halt. It is coming to a, a dead stop may have something to do with a father figure. And you know, it's interesting because a little while ago when I was doing it, that car revved its engine as it was driving by and I thought, oh, that's part of the reading. So there may be something to do with a the vehicle. There could be some car issues or, you know, uh, this could be an accident. I mean, this could be, and this could be a car. So I wonder if somebody is going too fast and they get, and that's the awakening, you know, that's the, that's the rubble, you know that really gives somebody that wake up call. There is something going on here that is going to really change somebody's life, okay? Um, there's a need to slow down, definitely with that chariot reversed. We, have, we, have, we, we could also have an emotional outburst ahead, you know, and there's a need to master emotions, seriously need to master emotions. Somebody is probably going to wish that they didn't get involved in something that they got involved in. They're going to wish they didn't. They're going to wish they didn't go or they're going to wish they didn't do that. And But it's a blessing in disguise because it changes you. It changes the person. And, and, and I, it is what it is. I mean, it is what it is. Um, I do feel like um, a time of healing is right around the corner because there's going to be an event that changes your life and probably forces you to have a new outlook. Um, there could be a, this could simply be a fight that starts it, that does it because of that five of wands. That could be a competition, that could be a fight, it could be an argument, there's some sort of tension here. Dissatisfied with the Nine of Cups reverse, that they, somebody's dissatisfied that they didn't get what they want, but they're going to get what they want. It's just not going to be in the form that it was envisioned. 
I do believe you're going to be dealing with some challenges this month. And I feel like the challenge is because you have to work as a team. You have to work with somebody and you may have to compromise with that three of wands. You, you know, to become the leader, you first have to learn the skills. So anyhow, I, I do believe that uh, you are going to be stepping it up. I think you're stepping it up a level, but it starts with your self. It starts with healing. It starts with a tower moment. And I think that help is arriving. And I think that, the, that they hear your prayers and they are about to bring you what you asked for. But it's not, like I've said multiple times in this reading, it's not what you envisioned. Um, get prepared for some sort of conflict and I feel like the conflict comes because it's you're dissatisfied and not happy with this is dissatisfied not happy conflict self things may not be going the way that you would drive them that we the, the, in the direction you would go but you have to be open to other possibilities so i do i do believe that um, some of you could also become famous if you're not already with that star card. There could be some sort of fame that is coming. Money is coming. Abundance is coming. But you have some skills to learn first. And it's not going to be easy. So I do believe you're going to be receiving help or an offer from somebody that probably uh, stops you in your tracks and you may want to oppose it because it's not what you envisioned my advice is to take it let this person help you and teach you something because it can bring you abundance and that is what I got it starts with yourself though self love is most important And water, you need water, you are lacking water. You need to take care of yourself. You need to focus on yourself, focus on your health, focus on healing. Allow whoever this person is to help you. Good luck. <laughs>